Hey guys, it's Shira from Woodshop Diaries and welcome to part two of my drawer building series. Now in the previous video, I shared how to figure out your drawer dimensions for your fronts and your drawer boxes. In part two, I'm going to be sharing how to actually take those numbers and build the drawers. For this video, I'm going to be building the drawers for this cabinet. Based on my calculations from part one, I've determined that my drawer boxes for this cabinet should be 16 inches deep, 14 inches wide and four and a half inches tall. So that's what I'll be building in this video. But before we start cutting anything, let's talk about materials. You can assemble your drawer boxes from tons of different kinds of materials. In this video, I'm going to be using three quarter inch plywood for the sides of the box and quarter inch plywood for the bottom. I know a lot of people like to use half inch plywood for drawer boxes and that works totally fine. You could use half inch for the entire drawer box if you wanted. I typically just keep three quarter and quarter stocked in my shop. So I'll use three quarter for the sides and then a quarter for the bottom, just so that I don't have to use three quarter for the whole thing. Also a side note, a bonus to using plywood for your drawer boxes is that since the movement with plywood is very minimal, you don't have to worry about wood movement in your drawers, expanding or contracting, putting any stress on your slides. As far as the tools that you need to build a drawer box, the bare minimum is just a saw that can cut straight. Typically I'll use my miter saw for that, just for quick cross cuts. And then you'll need a drill and or driver. As far as optional tools, since I'm typically cutting down plywood for my drawer boxes, I use a circular saw and a cutting guide to cut my plywood sheets. Speaking of optional tools, I also use a table saw to cut dados for my drawer boxes. Dados are optional. You can build drawers with and without them and I'll show you how but you could also use a router to cut your dados if you didn't want to use a table saw, but I don't want you to think that you have to have either a table saw or a router to build the boxes because you definitely don't. And finally, I use a pocket hole jig to assemble my door boxes. Now, the pocket hole jig is optional. You could follow this exact same process and just use regular wood screws Since my drawer box needed to be four and a half inches tall, I ripped some three quarter inch plywood strips to four and a half inches wide. I'll cut these strips down to create the four sides of my drawer box. I cut my three quarter inch plywood into four and a half inch wide strips. And from those strips, I cut two side pieces and two front and back pieces. So in this case, I'm going to be using pocket holes and screws in the front and the back pieces to screw them into the side panels. So these will butt up to the front and back pieces. Since my overall drawer box needed to be 16 inches deep, I cut my side pieces 16 inches. And since I wanted my overall width to be 14 inches, I would take 14 inches and subtract two times three quarter for the plywood sides here. And that would leave me with 12 and a half inches that I need to cut my front and back pieces to. So I have to share a quick disclaimer because I know that somebody will ask. Most of the hardwood three quarter inch plywood is actually 23 30 seconds of an inch thick. So it's 1 30 second shy of a full three quarters of an inch. That's because they make it in metric dimensions, but they market it in inches. I live in the US, we don't use the metric system. I'm not gonna get into all of that. I don't make the rules, I just, live by them, so here we are. Anyway, that said, since both of these pieces are 1 32nd of an inch shy of three quarter, when I put them together, the overall width here is going to be 1 16th shy of my desired width. I mentioned my thoughts on rounding already in part one, but I'm going to address it again here. There's enough play in the drawer slides that the 1 16th of an inch here is negligible. Side mount drawer slides are pretty forgiving, so whenever I do my calculations, I just ignore this whole 16th of an inch thing. I just calculate it as a full three quarters of an inch. If you wanna cut your front and back drawer box pieces a 16th of an inch longer, just to be extra precise, feel free. I said in part one that there is a time and a place for exact precision and a time and a place for close enough. And in this case, this is another close enough situation. Cutting dados to install the bottom panel is definitely optional if you don't have a table saw or a router or you just don't want to cut the dados. You don't have to install the bottom plywood panel into a dado. You can simply staple it onto the bottom of the drawer. I'll show you both ways to do it. They're both very simple, but I'm going to cut the dados to show you that way first. 
I've got my little Craig multi-mark tool and I can just set it to a quarter of an inch right here. So that way I can just kind of adjust my table saw blade to about a quarter of an inch tall so I can cut quarter inch deep dados. This is not a dado blade. It's just a standard general purpose blade. I have a dado blade that I could swap this out for, but for just a few drawers, it's usually not worth the time in my opinion. So I just use a general purpose blade and make three passes. I like to cut my dados about a half inch from the bottom edge of the drawer. Since my pieces are four and a half inches wide, I'll set the outside edge of my blade to about four inches from the rip fence. So that'll cut my bottom edge of my dado half inch from the bottom edge of the drawer. So I run all of my pieces through like this. I need this dado to be a quarter inch wide. Now I'm gonna adjust my rip fence a little closer to the blade so that the inside edge is now three and three quarter inches. Since this outside edge was four, if I adjust to three and three quarter, that would give me my quarter inch wide dado. So now I have my quarter inch wide cut here, but I still have this middle piece. So I just adjust my rip fence a little bit further out again, just so it'll cut right down the middle here and get rid of that. I know that seems like kind of a long process, but if you're just doing them in batches, it goes pretty quick. If your plywood panel is a little loose in your dados, that's totally fine. For drawer bottoms, this is definitely not super critical that it's exactly a quarter of an inch. Just as long as your plywood fits, it's good. So now I need to cut the plywood bottom to go into these dados. Since these dados were cut a quarter inch deep, I basically just take the inside openings here and add a quarter inch for each side. So I add a half inch total. So the inside dimensions here are 12 and a half. So I'm gonna make it 13 inches wide. And the inside dimensions here are 14 and a half. So I'm gonna make it 15 inches deep. If I was not installing my plywood bottom into dados, I would just cut the plywood piece the exact same width as the overall size of the drawer. It's a quarter inch piece of plywood it should fit into all the dados and the drawer box should fit together nice and snug. Since I'm building my boxes out of plywood, I know that I'm going to see this exposed plywood edge around the top of the drawer box pieces. So I like to apply iron on edge banding to the top edges. The pocket holes here will go on the opposite side as the dados because the dados will face the inside of the drawer and the pocket holes will face the outside of the drawer. Also, the pocket holes will be drilled in the front and back pieces, not in the side pieces. Now that all the pieces are edge banded, sanded, and prepped, it's time to actually assemble. Assembling the box is as easy as just driving the screws through the pocket holes. Make sure the pocket holes face the outside of the box. I attach three of the sides together first. And if you want, you can use some corner clamps if you'd like to just make sure to attach the pieces nice and square. One of the most common questions that I get is how do I make sure that my drawer boxes stay square when I'm assembling them? And my number one tip is to just make sure that you cut your pieces square to begin with. So cut your drawer box pieces square and cut your drawer bottom piece square. It's gonna be impossible to get your drawer square if you cut your pieces off square. However, even if you do cut your pieces square, it is possible sometimes to get a little off square when assembling if you drill your screws in at an odd angle or whatever. So my next tip is to just double check and make sure that your bottom panel 
is square before assembling. Even if you assemble your drawer box pieces a little off square, once you put the panel in, it's going to pull those pieces together to the shape of this panel since it's gonna be a pretty tight fit. So your bottom panel should be able to pull your drawer box sides square. However, if it's not square to begin with, it's obviously not going to do that. So to check for square, you basically can just measure across the diagonals and make sure that they're even. Once I make sure my bottom panel is square, I slide it into the dados and attach the fourth side of the box. Then I just double check that the box stayed square in the process. If the box is not square, you may have to loosen some screws, clamp, and drive them again. If you skip the dados, this process is exactly the same, except that you would assemble all four sides of the box, then flip it upside down and use wood glue and screws or staples to secure the plywood panel onto the bottom side. Note that if you do attach the bottom panel this way, that it will make your overall drawer height a quarter inch taller. So you may or may not want to cut your sides a quarter inch narrower to keep your overall drawer height correct. And it's as easy as that to build a drawer. Now, once we install these, these pocket holes will be covered, so don't worry about that. But I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to build a simple drawer box. In the next video of the series, I'll be explaining how to install the drawer slides and how to install the drawer boxes. So I hope that you will stick around and check that out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when it comes out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, friends, happy building.